Christy here and I am so excited to be together again cooking in the kitchen. Today we are learning how to make a two cheese tortilla roll up. This snack or small meal uses just four ingredients and only cooks in the microwave for 45 seconds. We're gonna have fun making this together today and I'm so glad you're here. All is step to cooking and working in the kitchen is to wash our hands. While I wash my hands with soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds, let's go over the ingredients and supplies that you'll need to gather to cook along today. The ingredients you'll need are one flour tortilla, half a cup of shredded cheese, two tablespoons of cream cheese, and one tablespoon of salsa. The supplies you'll need are a microwave safe plate, half a cup dry measuring cup, one tablespoon, and one butter knife. Okay, great. Your hands are clean and my hands are clean. We've gathered our ingredients and supplies, so let's get started making our two cheese tortilla roll up. This is just a really quick small meal or snack. It only takes 45 seconds in the microwave um, and I think it tastes good. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your microwave safe plate. We will cook this right on a microwave or right on a plate in the microwave. So you wanna make sure whatever plate that you put in there can go in the microwave. It's microwave safe. So put your plate right in front of you. That's where we're gonna assemble everything before we pop it in the microwave. So once your plate is in front of you, now we're gonna wanna grab your one flour tortilla. Okay. Now, of course, if you make this again and you want to make more than just one, uh, just double the ingredients. But today I'm just going to show you how to make this in one tortilla. So take your flour tortilla. I just took mine out of the package and pop it right on your plate because now we need to put on the cream cheese. So once your tortilla is in front of you, we're going to grab our cream cheese and our one tablespoon. So this is the big one, it says one TBSP, and we need to measure two tablespoons of cream cheese. So I'm also going to grab my butter knife, that way I can get my cream cheese into my tablespoon. So grab your butter knife, and I'm just now going to take my cream cheese and scoop it in here, because I want to measure two tablespoons that way I know how much I'm spreading onto my tortilla. Now a bit of advice, my cream cheese has been sitting out for probably about 20 minutes to soften it. So if you take your cream cheese right out of the refrigerator and it's too hard to scoop and measure or even to spread, you can pop it in the microwave for 15 seconds or just let sit on your counter for a few minutes and that just softens it to help it easier, to make it easier to spread. So I've got my first tablespoon here and now I'm just going to scoop this out. I still need one more. And I'm just going to spread this onto my tortilla. This is probably the hardest part of this whole recipe is getting this cream cheese spread out. So just be patient. I only have one tablespoon right now, so I'm just gonna focus on the first half and getting this spread out. We do wanna get it to the edges if we can, just so every bite has cream cheese in it. Now I need my second tablespoon of cream cheese. So same thing I'm just gonna do like I did before. Take my cream cheese with my butter knife and push it down into my tablespoon. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're not baking it any, we just need about a tablespoon on the other half. So now that I have my tablespoon measured, I'm just going to take this other half with my butter knife, probably turn my tortilla around and spread it out on this side. We just want our whole tortilla covered with cream cheese. Now if you make this again and you don't want to measure out your cream cheese, just know that we need enough cream cheese to cover the bottom of our tortilla. So the next time you make this, as long as you have cream cheese in your house, you'll have one less step to measure two tablespoons. You could really just spread it all out until it covers it and then you have enough. All right, next step is, I'm gonna keep my butter knife to the side because we're gonna end up cutting this in half at the end. So just keep your butter knife nearby. We'll use it at the very end. But now I am gonna 
grab my tablespoon again. So this is the one we just used for our cream cheese. And I need to measure out one tablespoon of salsa. So again, this is the one TBSP, one tablespoon. And then I'm going to grab my salsa, whichever salsa you like, could be mild, could be hot, could be medium. Your favorite salsa, we need one tablespoon. I'm just scooping out one tablespoon of salsa. And I'm gonna dump that right on the middle of my tortilla. You can put the rest of the salsa aside. We won't use it again. Now I'm actually just gonna use the back of my tablespoon and I'm just gonna spread this out. You could use your butter knife too, but because I have my tablespoon in my hand, and really I just wanna get this around my tortilla, the back of your tablespoon works just as fine. It's actually probably easier than your butter knife. All right, now you can put your tablespoon to the side. We are done using that. Now we just need to put our shredded cheese on. So take your shredded cheese, any flavor that you like. I just have American cheese, but maybe you have like a Colby Jack or you have a different flavor, whatever your favorite flavor of cheese is, you go ahead and use that or what you have in your kitchen. And you need your half a cup dry measuring cup. So this is the one that says one slash two. And we just need to measure out a half a cup of shredded cheese. So I'm just gonna take my cheese here and pop it right in. I want half a cup of cheese. Now, just like the cream cheese, if you make this again in the future, you don't actually have to measure your cheese. I like to measure half a cup to know, to know that I have enough cheese in my kitchen to make this recipe. But once you've made this once, all we're gonna do is put enough cheese on it to cover our tortilla. So if you don't wanna measure it next time, you don't have to. This just helps me know how much cheese I need and how much cheese I have in my kitchen to make sure I have enough. So all I did was dump that cheese right on top. And now I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. So we have clean hands. That's why we wash our hands when we cook in the kitchen. So that when we need to use our fingers, they are clean to touch our food. But from here, we just have this layered. So we have our tortilla, we put our cream cheese on, we added salsa, and then we topped it with shredded cheese. And the last step before we let it cool and eat it is to cook it in our microwave for 45 seconds. So all I'm gonna do is pop this in the microwave for 45 seconds and then we'll take it out and let it cool and then we'll talk about finishing it. So this only cooked for 45 seconds and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to roll it and then let it cool for a minute because if we roll it and ate it right away, that cheese is hot, we would burn our mouth. So I'm going to roll this up and all I'm gonna do is take a corner and the tortilla is a little warm. I'm definitely not touching the cheese. So I'm just rolling it carefully. You don't want to squish it too much or that cheese will come out, but I want it into like a little taquito looking shape. So I'm just rolling this up. And I'm gonna let this cool for one minute before I cut it. If I cut it right now, all that cheese is gonna squish out. So I want to let that cheese harden just a little bit. So let this cool for one minute and then we will cut it in half and give it a try. Okay friends, so this cooled for one minute. Again, I wanted that cheese to have a little bit of a chance to harden so it doesn't squish out when we go to cut it. It might still, but we'll give it a try. So now all I'm gonna do is take my butter knife and I'm just gonna cut it in half because I wanna see the cheese on the inside. Now obviously you don't have to do this part. You could just go ahead and eat it from here. Um, but if you wanna cut it in half, maybe you wanna share it with someone, dunk it in some more salsa. But you can kind of see, so it's just like this really yummy, cheesy creation that we made. It's quick, again, it was just four ingredients and we only used our microwave for 45 seconds. So this is a great maybe snack to have in the afternoon. Um, maybe you're in your college dorm and you don't have an oven, so you just have your microwave and a little mini fridge. We only had those four ingredients um, and now we were able to make this fun little tortilla roll up. So I do hope you try and make it or try and make it again. And when you do, let me know how it goes. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. I love getting to hear from you. You can even send me a picture of how your two cheese tortilla roll up turned out. I'd love to get to see your creation and maybe we could share it next week. Now, speaking of next week on next week's episode, which is episode 55, we are learning how to make peanut butter banana oatmeal. This filling breakfast only has five ingredients and cooks in the microwave for just three minutes. In order to cook along and make our peanut butter banana oatmeal, these are the ingredients that you'll need to have in your kitchen for next week. One small banana, half a cup of milk, 
half a cup of rolled oats or oatmeal, one tablespoon of peanut butter, and one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. Well friends, our time together today is almost over. I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to make our two cheese tortilla roll up. I know I had fun and I already can't wait to cook together again next time. But before you say goodbye to this episode, make sure to click subscribe if you haven't already. You just have to click the little picture of me in the corner. That way you don't miss next week's episode. It'll be out on Friday and I'll see you then. Bye friends. It's time to eat.